Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, this is, I guess you consider it a public service announcement in regards to Kiapa Sharps rifles or carbines. This one is a Kiapa New Model 1863 Sharps carbine, carbine, however you want to say it, both are correct. And it's chambered for the 4570 government cartridge. Um, when I first got this, I detected a major flaw and I contacted Kiapa and I sent him an email with a video showing the flaw. This is what was happening. So yeah, every time I would full cock, bring the lever or the breech down, close the breech, the hammer would automatically fall on the firing pin. Not good. So I sent it in to Kiapa. Uh, they had it for a while. I got it back and they said it was fixed. It is not fixed. It's still happening. Or it was still happening. I uh, sent another email to Kiapa with another video showing them that the flaw was still there. Uh, no response from Kiapa. So I gave them some time, COVID and all that. Still no response to my email. So I decided to call him today, and I could not get through. I just got, all lines are busy. That was all I would say. No, please wait, or leave your number, we'll call you back. All lines are busy. Well, I always thought it was a faulty lock, and I got to looking at this, and I compared it to my uh, David Petter Solly Sharps. The David Petter Solly Sharps, the lever angle, is different than the um, Kiapa so you have more space right in here and there was a gap between the trigger and the lever and you'll see here the gap so there was a gap but not much of a gap and I got to thinking is that lever actually hitting that trigger and is that what's causing the problem so I took my file and I removed some of the bottom portion of the trigger so it's not as long and guess what it took care of the problem the trigger was too long and so when you would close the breech block the lever even though there was a gap a little gap it was setting that trigger off and therefore accidental discharge so yeah so if you have a Kiapa uh, made sharps you might want to check the space between that trigger and your lever